Hi there, welcome to another episode of Azure Fridays. In our last video, we discussed what is multi-factor authentication and in this video, you will get to know how to enable multi-factor authentication. In this tutorial, you are going to learn how to create a conditional access policy to enable Azure Active Directory multi-factor authentication for a group of users or a single user. Secondly, configure the policy conditions that prompt for MFA. Lastly, we are going to test and use multi-factor authentication for a user. So let's get started. All right, guys, just to recap, Multi-factor authentication or MFA is a process in which a user is prompted for an additional form of identification during a sign-in event. Now, let's see how we can enable Azure multi-factor authentication. First of all, you have to sign in into your Azure portal. So let me sign in over here quickly. Now, as you can see, I have signed in into my Azure portal and now we are going to use Azure Active Directory to enable multi-factor authentication. So, first of all, you have to go to this Azure Active Directory. And over here, you have to select security on your left hand side panel and there you will find this conditional access. Just click on this. It may happen that when you are trying to log in over here and you will see this new policy button is not highlighted for you. And this can happen because in order to set up a conditional access policy, you need to have one another license. That is, you need, first of all, a working Azure AD tenant with Azure AD P1 or try license enabled. If you don't have, you can enable this into your admin center. Over here, we are going to focus on a user specific MFA rather than a group, but you can also do the same for the group by following the same steps. So let's start over here. First of all, we have to create a conditional access policy over here and you can just do it after clicking over here. And if you would like to know more about conditional access, then you can simply click over here. It's going to reroute you to another page where you would get to know from Microsoft side, what is the conditional access, how it works and what are the common signals, common decisions, etc. So you would get to know everything over here. You just need to come over here. All right. Now coming back, we have to click on this plus new policy. That means we are going to add a new policy over here. Here, first of all, you have to give it a name. So I'm going to say BCP test policy. You can give it any name according to your own organization requirements or your own business requirements. Then you have to select a user or group of users. So I'm going to say select a user group over here. And then I can also select the user. And here it's going to prompt me all the users where I would like to apply multi-factor authentication with conditional access. So for this one, I'm going to use this account Merida. And then simply select over here. Now, second, if you want to add any apps or any particular actions over here, you can do that. Simply select over here. And once you select again, you have to select all cloud apps that you can do. Over here it's saying, don't lock yourself out. This policy impacts the Azure portal. So if you don't want to lock yourself out, you can select certain apps over here and you can select the apps from there. So I'm going to say Power BI. And here's the Power BI service. So we are going to select only this app and select this. So that whenever our user is trying to log in on Power BI service, they should get prompt for multi-factor authentication. All right. Now there are certain conditions. If you would like to perform these conditions as well, you can do that. So now I'm going to go to this access control over here. Let's select on this grant. And as soon as I click on this grant, there are multiple options available. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say require multi-factor authentication. And then there's for multiple controls require all selected controls. So I'm going to select over here. And then lastly for sessions. So over here, you can use either of these options. So this is totally up to your business requirement, what you want to do. And I'm going to say use conditional access app control. Monitor only and this is in preview and then simply select it. Here you have to enable the policy, otherwise it's not going to work. So let's enable and click on create. It's going to validate. Now, if you will check your notifications, you will see this policy has been successfully created. After that, what you have to do, you have to go to the home page, go to again the Active Directory. Over here, you can go to the users and let's select our user over here, which is Merida. So let me select over here 
and if you would go to the authentication method it's saying that require re-register multi-factor authentication that means over here we have to provide authentication information how we would like to do so let me quickly edit my details over here now you can clearly see that we have updated the authentication method now let's go to power bi service portal where we are going to sign in Here I'm going to try to sign in using my merida.biconsultingpro.com and here it's asking me for the authentication. So you can either click on I can't use my phone. So over here you can send a text to your mobile phone. So I'm going to use this text message and I'm going to receive a text message and I'm going to enter the code over here. So let me do that quickly. Over here, you can see that as soon as you enter your code, since this is the very first time we are using multi-factor authentication for this particular account, you have to do certain additional details too. That means you have to configure certain other things. That means you have to configure it. So let's click on next. And we're again gonna click on this. Since this is the first time, it's gonna take a while. And here you can see that you have signed in successfully. Great job, you have successfully set up your security account. Now we have to select turn. So as soon as I type my password over here, it's going to authenticate you and it's saying access to Microsoft Power BI is monitored. That means we have set up our multi-factor authentication using Azure Active Directory. So now you can click continue to Microsoft Power BI and it's going to allow you access over there. Now you can see that I have logged in using Merida at BIConsultingPro.com on my Power BI account. And before that, it was asking me to sign in using multi-factor authentication. That's all guys for this video. If you have any question or concern, please don't forget to let us know. And also if you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest videos and updates. See you in the next video.